What's going on, guys? Uh, Jay freaking here. Jay freaking sees here. What's up? We are gonna play some more Tales of Vesperia. If you're surprised, you shouldn't be, because I have set my foot in the sand here, and we will play this game until we beat it. Because if I don't do that, I won't beat it for sure. So, if we remember the last part, we basically fought our way through Heracles or whatever it's called and we're gonna fight Alexei and we get there and he's not there. Zagi is there. So we fight Zagi for the third time. And the big twist what happened? Zagi was fighting us and we got help from the German guy. What's his name? I can't remember his name. But the German guy, he was like, oh, yes, he we are, yes. That's my impression. Pretty good, I know. So, um, now we're leaving Heracles, and we're going to try to find this bro. The bad guy. So. Uh, I believe we just leave the way we came. I hope. I did not want to fight. Be careful, everyone! Show no quarter. My eyes are so sticky right now. Like I don't know what happened. They were really dried out or something, but they hurt. What's Jaeger thinking? It's Yeager. almost like he's trying to help us. Well, he said himself that he didn't want the Empire becoming too powerful. Then maybe it's safe to take him at his word. He lays that whole nut job act on pretty thick, but he is in the business of selling weapons. And if the Empire was on top and the world was at peace, well, nobody would need any weapons. That would make sense. So he's trying to drag the fighting out as long as he can. And that's no good for anybody. I... I won't let him get away with it. Yeah. 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 We won't let him get away with it. Peace. Oh, uh, dude, we're sneaky. We should just fight him. I'll take him out. All right, let's go. Destruction field. Oh, Caprice of innocent Did we just kill that dude? Like, he just disappeared. That was crazy. Alexei wasn't in the control room. You picked up bad intel, old man. <laughs> I never expected that Alexei would use something this big as a pawn. And he took such good care of her. Did he really take care of her? What's a captain without a ship, huh? It took years to put it all together. Building something like this couldn't be easy. Sacrificing him means he must be very serious. Are we supposed to, oh, we're supposed to be going to the engine room? Bro, well, I hope we're going the right way. I feel like we're not. Uh, sucker. Oh. <laughs> Let's eliminate 
We still had to fight him. you mentioned earlier. In the past, it was called the Great Cataclysm. Huh? And you think that Lady Esteles might bring that cataclysm about again? How? The Atafagos is caused by a deepening imbalance in the air. There was already an imbalance because of the air consumed to operate Blastia. And Distel's power consumes many times the air that Blastia do. That means that if Alexei continues to use Lady Esteles' power, We'll be in the same situation that caused the Atafagos before. But how? Why does Lady Esteles have that power at all? We don't have time to stand around and talk about that, do we? We can talk about Estelle's power. The power of the Children of the Full Moon as we go. Right. The Children of the Full Moon? The Atafagos? What is Lady Esteles' power? Flynn trying to figure it all out. I feel like that's the wrong way. The engine room's gotta be like down, down, right? Just keep going down. Hey, Flynn's no, bros. You are all being fooled. <laughs> that was definitely not a soda cracking. Alexei open. has been using the knights for his own personal gain. What are you talking about? The Commandant is an honor to the knights and someone we should all follow. Flynn is trying to overthrow His Excellency. He's the real traitor. Really? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Flynn's the traitor. Are you all right, Sodia? Captain, oh. you're okay. My neck is so tight. I'm impressed you beat all these guys on your own. I don't recall asking for your help. This girl. Don't they teach you knights how to say a simple thank you? I will never give thanks to you as long as I live. You didn't think I could just let you walk away, did you? Enough, Sodia. This is hardly the time. Captain, why are you always defending the- Jeez, how many times am I gonna have to say this? We don't have time to mess around with you. <laughs> if you really want to do this, then we won't hold back. Damn, Judy. She about that action. <laughs> she don't care about nobody. There's something else we've got to be doing, so try and keep out of the way. So you plan to rescue Lady Esteles? Of course. Yeah. So come on, put She's, down your sword. She's uh, one of the bros, you know? He's right, you know. Nobody come out a winner in this fight. Captain Schwan. The name's Raven. You'll remember that for me, won't you? Yuri Lowell. Once I finish cleaning up this mess, I'll be back to deliver your punishment. What is her problem? I think really she likes Yuri. Well, that is your job, but I'll do as I please. Vice Captain, 
And Captain Flynn, too? I'm so glad you're here. We're engaged in battle. But there's too much of a difference in firepower between our fleet and the Heracles. We won't last much longer. I must ask that you please take direct command. It does sound like they're really going at it out there. I'm begging you, sir. Captain, I can't handle this all on my own. Well, I... Your subordinates are in a real jam. Go help them out. But... We'll be fine. I'll join up with you later. Let's go. Goodbye, Flynn. You were my healer. Looks like the knights are having a hard time, too. What are we gonna do now? If we don't bring this thing down right now, they're gonna have more than just a headache. All right, off to the engine room we go. Flynn left the party. So now our party is this? This is a weak ass party. I don't like it. We definitely don't want Carol. Oh, yeah, we do want. We want him to heal, but we gotta put Raven in the party to heal. put Judy in and see how it goes and make sure our strategy here is right um, yeah art users full attack endure uh, use half heal um, keep distance well, free move. Up to you. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Hey, the door's open this time. What's this? Ooh, super thick air. And it's like blood red. That's pretty ominous. Looks like things are getting pretty crazy. <clears throat> the Blasty is out of control! It looks like Zoggy smashing up that control panel did more damage than we thought. We could just use the Zord though, right? This is like the second time I thought this. Like, we could just use the the special sword to like so, fix the air. What the hell are we gonna do about this thing? Wait! I don't think waiting is going to do us any good. No, I think I get it. Look at that! Uh, what is that? Air is being transferred at a tremendous rate. There can only be one place something this big could be sending that much power. The part on the Heracles that requires the most power. A cannon? If we were to destroy this Blastia now, it might stop Heracles. But the cannon could go off and blow Zophias clean off the map. No way! So what should we do? Well, whatever we do, we have to stop this air. Use they the swords, huh? Oh yeah, that's what Duke used to get the air back under control. Can you really do that? I don't really have a choice. Here goes nothing. Let's do a Yuri. Uh. Okay, that was not what I was supposed to do. Go back in. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> he still got us. I'll make this quick. Almost. Knock him around and cut him down. The love shot. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> Raven's healing move is beautiful. And I just realized his bow and arrow is like a freaking stick and leaves. That's hilarious. The secret of my strength is a secret. He looks like Decidui. Oh, we're gonna have to fight it? It's not what I want. Destroy them in no time. 
That can't be the right way. Damn. This we tried. Lady doesn't look so nice. Ooh, scary, scary. Kinda want uh let me make sure. Judith, I need you to be fighting the strong enemy. Pineapple gel. Well, yeah, we're not gonna get it by here for sure. This bird's gonna get us every time. Damn, and he got a, a freaking surprise encounter. Come on. Careful. You can do it, Yuri. It's floating. Apatheia. It's creating interference with the Blastia and causing the air to go out of control. Are we gonna break it? It's like one of the Entelikea's souls, right? Afraid that's what it's down to. If Heracles keeps going, we can kiss Zapius goodbye. Not to mention that cannon might decide to go off. Yeah, we have to act now. Thank you. Oh, is that Duke's voice? Or is that the voice huh? of the Intelikea that we just, like, released their soul? I don't know whose voice that was. It stopped? What about the cannon? Not good. At this rate, it's gonna fire. No way! We shut the power off! Oh, shoot. Just aim it at the sky. Flame's gonna help us out. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. Cannon's pretty strong. I 
was really worried there for a second. That's some friend you have. <laughs> there he goes again, showing off as usual. Hey, am I the only one who heard a voice when you cut the apatheia? No. That might have been the voice of whatever Antelakea it used to be. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's what I was thinking. It was like the consciousness within the apatheia willed the air back to normal. I think we're done here. Now we've got to get to Zophius to rescue Estelle. So Rita sure heard that and thought something's clicking in her brain for sure. I'll call Baul. We should get somewhere out in the open. We've lost too much time getting sucked into this Heracles decoy business. Let's hurry. Well, the air back to normal. The Apatheia and air. The Rizomata formula and Estelle. Rita's head's gonna explode from thinking too much. <sighs> that was a close call. I did not want to watch the lower quarter get destroyed right in front of me. We owe your friend a debt of thanks. He's not too subtle, though. He went ahead with his knights and all of us still in here. Flynn would do just about anything to defend the capital, and he'd use his own body to shield everyone else. That's his thing. Kid's got more nerve than I gave him credit for. What'd you expect? He's Yuri's friend. Ugh, I don't want to fight this stupid bird. Oh my god. I hate him. <laughs> I didn't even need a lemon gel. Can we go out this way? down there the fleet looks like it's in trouble oh no this is not good judging from the tilt those ships are taking on water if they don't pick up the pace they're gonna sink isn't that Flynn yelling down there doesn't look like there's any way to break away from that I feel bad for doing this to Flynn but we really need to get going are you sure you're gonna get an earful later I'm used to his lectures Judy take us out of here Baul Baul, head towards the capital. Yeah, thanks. Everyone, get on. You won't get away this time, Alexei. There it is! It's the capital! Huh? Whoa! No more barrier. I wonder if this is Alexei's doing too. That guy's just doing whatever he wants. Ready to go in? Take us there. Estelle, where could you be? Where do we even start looking in a city this big? We follow the airflow. If Alexei is using Estelle and Apatheia in his plans, it has to cause a disturbance in the air. Baul!
He found it. There! Estelle! And Alexei's right there with her. <laughs> the sound effects. <sighs> Judy, take us closer! <laughs> oh. Shoo, shoo, shoo. he wasn't going to make it. Estelle. Please, I beg of you. Before I cause anyone any more pain. Please, Yuri. Kill me now. Damn. Still don't even know, like, understand his reasoning. Why does Alexei want to do this? Maybe I missed something, but I don't get it. I'm alive. Did everybody make it? I'll be all right. <laughs> I'm alive, but I can't say much more than that. Feels like I might have snapped a few bones. This ship's a mess, too. You won't get away with this, Alexei. Ow! Ow! Yuri, it hurts. <laughs> Carol's dead. Full broke everything. That thing Estelle did. It was like Day Nomos. Must be what happens when you get a few epithea together at once. Don't try to talk. We're gonna get you both to a doctor. Try and hang in there for a little longer. Thank you, old friend. We owe you so much. It looks like Baul won't be able to give us a lift for a while. No. He'll have to rest somewhere until his wounds are healed. You've done more for us than we could ask. Take care and rest well. Goodbye, my whale buddy. You've got plenty to worry about without thinking about Estelle. Aye, if we go after Alexei like this, we're sure to get our butts handed to us. It seems we're somewhere near Kapu Noor. Let's go to Noor Harbor. There's bound to be a doctor there. Yeah, I don't like that sky. The air is boiling like thunderclouds. There's a mean storm brewing. Jeez. Purple what the sky. heck is going on? Is this a sign we're about to get hit with some kind of disaster? I just finished building my house for crying out loud. <laughs> They're really in an uproar. Not that I blame them. 
I'll bet things are pretty crazy in the capital, too. Where did you come from? Did you hear anything? No, we were... Why are all of you here? You look terrible. What happened to you? Oh, it's you. We've been through a lot. Do you know any doctors around here? Sure, I, I know a doctor, but... Well, do you think you might be able to bring the doc to the inn? We're too beat to even walk anymore. All right, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank goodness you came. You'd return from Helliard then? Yes. I still can't thank you enough for your help before. Oh, hello there. Are you with them too? Hi! What? Do you know them? After I got Polly back to his home, they let me sleep over and eat with them. <laughs> oh, right. After you left Rago's palace. Now that there's a new magistrate, Nor had become a much nicer place to live. But now, with that sky looking the way it is... Hey, mister! Hey, mister! Did you hear it? There was a loud sound like BOOM! Ooh. And then everything was shaking like an earthquake! Like an earthquake, or it was an earthquake? A town official is currently going to see what happened. Hey, where's that nice lady who was with you? Is she gone? Mm. Sore subject, kid. Uh, now that I think of it, that girl would have been able to heal your wounds. What happened to her? A certain worthless idiot handed her over to the bad guy. Now we're chasing after them. <laughs> I see. I guess I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry, but she's away for today. Oh, really? Don't worry. The next time we come, we'll bring her with us for sure. Really? Yay! For now, you should just get some rest. Your it. Excellency, it's horrible! The road, the road! It's gone! Huh? There's a giant hole on the other side of a mead hill! It's burning hot all around it. I wasn't able to get very close. Probably from the cannon. What? Uh, just like that? I suppose that's what all that rumbling was earlier. It's definitely the cannon, right? Even if we were able to get near that hole, getting across it would be impossible. No one will be able to go past a mead hill like this. So then, Nor is cut off from everyone else? This is bad. This is real bad. Could this be the blast from the Heracles cannon? What have they done? Uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. Should I just go, go back in now that this little cutscene happened? Maybe we go inside and sleep. Uh, yeah. It's locked. So it did end up hitting something after all. Thankfully, it missed hitting any of the towns. You guys sure you're all right? No, I heard all over. But Estelle's in trouble. I can't just lie around. Yeah, what he said. What's our next move, though? If the road to Emmied Hill is out, couldn't we take a boat around? I'm afraid not. A little while back, the knights came and took any boat that could make a long trip. Thanks to them, the harbor's dead empty. How about repairing the Fiertia and heading round by sea? The keel's all smashed up, so it'll take a while to fix it. Damn, at a time like this. Well, there is one way, but I'm just not sure how I feel about recommending it to you. If it'll get us through, let's hear it. We've got to get to the capital fast. I'm afraid it'll end up taking you a fair bit out of your way. But if you go north, just before Emmied Hill, 
There's a thin strip of coastline. It'll eventually come to a dead end. But in this season, it freezes over and becomes an ice flow. The Blade Drifts of Zofair. Right. If you're lucky, you should be able to make your way across the flow on the ice. So in other words, if we go across there, we can take a detour to the middle of the continent. The Blade Drifts of Zofair, huh? I heard nobody goes there. Not even fishermen, because of the stories. You're also gambling on nature here. So there's no guarantee you'll be able to get through. Nature, after all, is more often the enemy of man. Quite the keen observation, Patty. <laughs> if that's our only way, then we'll have to go for it. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Least I can do. There wouldn't be much left of this family if it weren't for you all. Only thing I'll ask is that you don't disappoint my boy. You got it! No promises here. We might lose this fight. Estelle said something just before her power was fully activated, didn't she? What do you think she was trying to say? Sorry, old Raven didn't catch it. <sighs> Yuri? Damn. Alright, so he said go through here, right? Oh my god, don't touch me. Do you think this was it? No. Run. This must be the hill? Yeah, we can't go that way. Okay, run. Oh, God. No, dude. They're all after me. <laughs> Not even a chance. Oh, man. There's so Let's many enemies right here, too. <laughs> Baul. Will Baul's wounds heal quickly? My, is that concern I hear in your voice? Well, yeah. I mean, we've been asking too much of him, really. It will take some time, but he should recover. He's quite a fighter, you know. Oh, good. So don't worry, okay, Rita? All right, I just... Hey, I'm the one giving out the sympathy here. You really must learn to control that temper. Oh, the big... Ah. Oh my god, we got a double attack. Oh, I can't wait to fight this one. Don't just stand there whining. Come on, Rita. Come on, I'm just getting started. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Ice bats. Let's go. Let's go. 
I wish there was a way to like fast fight. It's total chaos and panic no matter where you look. People were just living normally and then the capital winds up like this all of a sudden. Heracles cannon even changed the land itself. Not really a situation where you can just tell people to calm down. Nobody's gonna accept his rule with this mess going on. Alexei, what the hell are you thinking? Hmm, rule by terror maybe? Whether he can control the people or not, the world is headed for a crisis if this keeps up. But just try telling people about the air and the catastrophe it'll cause. They won't understand. We're the only ones who know. So that means it's up to us. This is gonna be rough. That little dog's tail almost touched me. Damn! That fool ran right at us. This is awesome! I knew it. I'm gonna have to fight so much crap just to get through here. This sucks. The blade drifts of so fair, so fair, so fair. However you say it. <sighs> it's c c cold. It's so very c cold. Okay, old man, we get it already. The aged have lower body temperatures, you know. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give for the heat of that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Uh, sorry. Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and just plain creepy. There are swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah, they seem to be all over. Just what kind of place is this? They're relics of a battle that happened long ago between pirates and the Empire. Hmm. I mean, now that you mention it, I I've heard about that. You're just full of information, aren't you? It's stuff that I picked up when I was researching about Ifrid. I thought Zofair got its name from the sharp cold, but I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a void. <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> oh. Huh? oh, a giant fish. What was that? It's big! Is that an Entelikea? No. I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It's a Bite Joe. A monster with a rigid, sparkly back and a super strong body. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Forget about it. Let's go. Carol! Well, we do got to get these chests. I can't. Feels too big. We can't get past him. <laughs> This one's pretty tough. Do you want to run away? That 
that's over. Oh, <laughs> it played me. <laughs> you can't go that way. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Hmm. <clears throat> I must have to walk all around. <laughs> what the heck's going on? <laughs> You need to take a chill pill. It looks like he's taken a liking to us. I prefer dates who are a little less aggressive. I wonder if we can catch it somehow. You want to eat it or something? Cold water Hell fish yeah. have more fat to insulate their bodies from the low temperatures, making them oh so delicious. White meat is just perfect for skewers. Uh, that's not a fish, you know. That thing's a monster. Oh, God. I don't even know what kind of like if that even affects the fight at all. <laughs> I'm just wasting my time, really. Sucker. Oh, I tried to run back past. I should have just tried to hit him with a laser. Aiming is so hard.
head start. Our strategy worked. Soon enough. Just get burned. Oh, baby, I'm already charred to a crisp. <laughs> what? I'm already charred to a crisp. This fish is trolling. <laughs> you sure are energetic, old man. If we just sit around t talking, we're gonna f freeze our butts off. <laughs> Patty, <laughs> this would be a great time for some of your piping hot skewers. It's frozen. Uh, uh. How annoying. How annoying. I was afraid he was going to hit us in the back so again. Nice. Ooh, scary, scary. Here comes a new spell. I'm just getting stuck. Oh, this is gonna be the way we go, really. Just ran right into him. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. We're done. It's for Patty. Um, formation? I kind of want to try something different. I want to try like a staggered fighting. I want to see if that works. <laughs> so my idea is that, like, usually what happens is I hit and Judith hits at the same time, right? If I can stagger them, like one and then one in the back, the idea is that I'll hit, my combo will end, and their combo will start. And then by the time my, like, little cooldown time is done, their combo would end. And it'll basically just like, be a continuous combo, and they won't have a chance to hit. Hopefully. Will it work? Probably not. But we'll try. Which one is it? This one? The Valkyrie Needle. Yep. Yeah, 
that's far. It's weird. That monster seems to have times when it bothers us and times when it leaves us alone. Maybe it's guiding us through it. Maybe it's doing us a favor, right? Yeah, it's telling us like where to go bit. so we can uh, meet up or make it through the like glaciers. If we in one stand piece. on really thick ice, I don't think that we need to worry about being attacked. If that thing comes at us, we can just kick its butt. Bring it on. Straight up, Patty. I'd really prefer not fighting something like that head on at the moment. Let's get back to land as soon as we can. <laughs> it just got mad. Watch my back. You thought you could win? Too bad. Too bad. I forgot that we got a new, uh, right? 80s. Ooh, baby, we made it. Save the game. Freaking jerk. This enemy doesn't look so nice. <laughs> Standing in the way. That's what Ooh. So who can wear it? Estelle and Raven. Uh, Raven, it's your lucky day, bro. I just have like a crazy power surge.
my internet's jacked all of a sudden. might be the time we have to stop uh <laughs> i don't even know if you can hear me because it looks like i'm dropping a ton of frames but if you can hear me uh i'm gonna stop thank you guys for watching i appreciate it very much and i will try again in a little bit thank you goodbye have a good night